Hello folks, Mr. Sadie here. Today I'm just going to talk to you about uh, an AI tool that I recently picked up. I've been using it for a couple of days now and uh, just want to give my thoughts and reviews on how it's going. Everybody that knows me knows I'm old school. I don't like change. Uh, I'm not much on tech at all. Uh, uh, not, the per not the eBay guy tech, but the tech itself so anyway <clears throat> um, I've been I've been using it for a little over two days now mostly in the evenings I didn't do anything yesterday because it was a holiday so really a day and an evening uh, is where I've been at uh, listed 23 items I believe actually I've listed more than that but with AI I think I've listed 23 to be exact because I'm looking at my uh, listing tool here <clears throat> better lister and uh, I just want to give a fair review I'm going to try a couple of these different tools I'll pay the price uh, you know uh, I don't mind spending money if it's going to educate me and, and get me the best available option for my business I'm just part time I, I haven't been listing at all lately so I've been considering this since it came out just because uh if I can do this still and with minimal effort and be competitive, save a lot of time and get a few listings up, then uh, then I may resell for God knows how long, right? If it's at, if it's not going to be a big deal to list stuff, uh, there's always downsides. You got competition. That's all. I mean, everybody else is going to be at the same advantage as you are. So uh, you got to keep that in mind with these tools. Uh, they're going to be available to everybody. I, in fact, I suspect. There will be many free versions of this coming out because my humble opinion there's not a whole lot proprietary about this uh, about any of these i think they're pretty much pulling from all the same places with their info and uh, i don't think it's uh i don't think it's hard to get uh, to get a hold of it so uh i know there's some exceptions and people will say oh but i'm getting my info from here and there and it, yeah okay all right uh I'm not technical, so I won't get into the weeds of the whole thing. I just think that they're all pulling from basically the same place. Uh, BP Bearded Picker pointed out in in his podcast that you know Google Lens is, is pretty much putting out the same info. It's just you have to do a little more manual work to get it, <clears throat> and so it's all come, becoming more and more available as we go here. So if you don't want to pay for one of these, uh, I suggest just hang tight. It's probably going to come around. Uh, within the next month or two you're going to start seeing uh, price reductions if not free uh, listing tools coming out anyway uh, so I've listed 23 items uh, I have had a couple issues with it uh, <clears throat> mainly with uh, it does great with like hats uh, as long as um, your pictures are clear and they have labels. Uh, I've noticed uh, I had one or two without a label, and it just didn't. It would not identify it, so it it kicked it back out as failed when you go to list the thing. And uh, there was a couple other ones with item specifics. They were uh, very unique items that I that I listed or tried to list. Uh, I had to add my own item uh, specifics to a couple items. Uh, but even on the the few listings that it failed to list. It still wrote out a beautiful title uh, and everything, so I was still able to copy paste the title uh, and description, and uh, even on my manual listing, it just saved me time having to do that at least. So the pictures were already taken, so all I had to do was just copy paste the title and description, move them over manually. But uh, this is just an old old guy talking. I you know there might be better ways. You know, please don't criticize my technicality of, of any of this because I'm just I'm not great at it so uh, anyway moving forward uh, so I listed 23 items I sold one uh, and I've had I've sent offers on several several already uh, I, I saw someone had uh, made a comment on somebody's podcast or something that they were just they weren't happy with it they're going back to manual uh, but in my opinion these tools aren't they don't exist to get you more sales. I mean, they're basically 
making your listing process much faster. And now you can translate that to more sales if you're gonna if you want to throw. But the, you know the the basics will always apply. You have to buy good items to resell with with some type of demand in the market uh, at a certain price. Uh, and I mean all the all the basics have to be met. This tool doesn't change any of that. Uh, it just makes the listing process a little faster. For a guy like me, a lot faster. Uh, you know, the punctuation's correct. I'm terrible with punctuation. Uh, so, I'll flip the camera around. I'll show one I just listed. Uh, it's not a... I wouldn't say it's a, a, a common item, but it's, uh, it's a vintage item. And it, did, it listed with no problem. Now, when you take measurements on products... You need to take them straight on with the, with the measurements so uh, the camera reads that, uh, that mark that you're trying to show uh, correctly. You can't, if you take it at an angle and it looks like it's longer than it is, it's gonna, the measurements are going to come up wrong in your AI listing. So the measurements need to be straight on. And uh, like I say, a couple item specifics, uh, the, you know, labels. Um, and I love, I mean, it, you know, like the hats, I, I had no idea what era the hats I had was, was from. I would have had to research all that if I even bothered. I, normally, I wouldn't even bother. I don't care if it's from the 80s. I'm going to lift it, list it, and let the buyers work it out, what kind of hat it is. Uh, you know, I try to get a comp, and, and sometimes I'll steal a listing uh, off eBay, and if it says 80s or 70s or 90s, whatever, then I'll use that. But uh, this does all that for you. You don't have to do any of that. It tells you what era it's from. It tells you... Uh, what the maker is, what it's made out of. Uh, I mean, it, it just it simplifies the whole process, and it takes a lot of guesswork out of it. Is it 100% accurate? No, you should pre-fruit every listing. I don't even care if you're listing manually. You still should go through it once or so, and just kind of make sure everything's right. You know what I mean? Double check your price. Uh, make sure there's nothing obviously that would come out as a lie in your listing. You know, it might be saying it's something else, and it's you know. I haven't had that happen yet, but you just want to make sure, you know, I, the last thing I want to do is is uh, put something out there and then come back and, you know, as fraudulent or it's not even what I say, you know, I just, I don't want that. So I always double check, proofread my, my listings and make sure everything's as close as I can see, just, you know, flipping through it right quick. So I'm going to flip this around and I'll show you how. This is a peanuts trash can that I, a vintage trash can that I uh, just listed a while ago. Uh, I was comfortable with the price of $39.99. And then, uh, but this description, uh, vintage peanuts trash can featuring Snoopy, Charlie Brown, and Lucy comic artwork. Condition, fair vintage condition with significant visible rust, wear, and surface scratches as shown. Uh, especially on the rim interior and a bottom made by chanko stamped made in usa on the base uh, classic green metal construction with colorful penis characters uh, all around front features snoopy with sunglasses lucy and charlie brown with the speech bubble ready on the set other side features charlie brown in a baseball cap holding a glove speech bubble says uh, good grief i'm a star approximate measurements are 13 inches tall 10 and a half inches in diameter at the rim, interior has heavy patina and rust consistent with age. Um, perfect for collectors are peanuts, Snoopy, vintage comic memorabilia, memorabilia, or retro decor. Uh, likely from the 70s, 80s, based on the style and construction. See all photos for exact details and condition. It would have took me an hour to write that. And... Uh, maybe you could write it fast but just that alone saved me so much time let's look at the title vintage peanuts trash can snoopy charter brown lucy chanko 13 inch made in usa and then it started to do comic but it got cut off it puts as much as it can in there uh 39.99 i'm okay there's my skew as you can see this is the 24th item i've listed right here uh because I went numer uh, numerical just to make things easy on myself here. Uh, and here's my pictures. Uh, 
it took pretty good you see how my tape measure straight on right there uh, and right here it's a little off on the diameter it said ten and a half and it's actually not diameter because it's oval uh, so that would be the length and the width would be different uh, so I might adjust that in the description uh, there's the other side and there's each side there's the inside definitely got some wear and there's the bottom definitely got some wear and there's the Chenko made in USA so it got it picked it all up uh, picked it all up I was a little surprised on this one because even though I'm sure they made a ton of these uh, you know for it to be so detailed about this particular one uh, is, is pretty interesting to me so this video is getting a little long so I'm gonna cut it off here soon but uh, I have a bunch of stuff that I'm gonna be running through I have a bunch of train stuff uh, I don't know how it's going to do on the box stuff. I expect it will do pretty good with uh, the standalone cars and conditions. We'll see how that goes. And then I've got, <clears throat> I started putting together my granddaughters come over and they'll clean these for me and I'll give them a couple bucks. Uh, but I've got, I'm going to try these foams. I've got some other foams. I've got a Bugs Bunny one and a something else. But I've got the old Snoopy phone. These used to do a lot better than they do nowadays. But and then I've got, if anybody knows anything about these dial up phones, this pink one's going to be a, a pretty good sale. Should be. They go a lot better than the average colored ones. <clears throat> but anyway, that's my story with AI. I've got a bunch of disaster in my garage because of all of my tools. I've changed careers uh, lately, and so I've got a mess I'm working through. But I'm trying to get my eBay back in order here for my little photo booth. And uh, we'll see how it goes. But that's my uh, basically two-day experience with uh, with the listing tool I've been using. And uh, I'm curious to see, like, you know, if you're going to list something like this, this is a taxidermy mallard duck. It's a one-off. There's not another one like it in the world. I expect I'll have to probably manually list that thing. Uh it may pick it up and put a nice description and stuff so i may try it with the with the uh better lister and then run it through and then i know there's other listing tools coming out and just to be fair uh this is not a biased video i'm not promoting this this uh listing tool over another one or anything like that i plan on trying a couple of them i don't mind paying uh if it's going to make that big of a difference in my business and if it doesn't uh, then I just won't have I'll you know I won't have them I'll, I'll cancel the subscription after 30 days and that'll be that so but anyway that's my experience so far so good uh, I'm kind of liking it but uh, I'll keep you updated as I go and uh, any changes are good or bad I'll let you know because you know I, I'm not getting a penny from any of these people so I, I have known the creator of this particular one for a long time he's one of the OG resellers and, and and well i say creator i don't know what part he's had in all this but i suspect he's had some some influence in it he's selling it so uh anyway uh, but like i said that doesn't sway me one way or the other it's it's all about what's best for me money's money right so anyway have a blessed day hope you had a great fourth have a good weekend sadie out